Here I have a CentOS 7 machine, and I don't have the root password, so I want to do a password recovery. So the first thing I do is I restart the machine, and then at the as the machine boots up, I can choose which operating system I would like to boot at the grub configuration window. I'm not going to choose to boot any of them right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the E button to select, to edit one of these options here. And then I find the line where it loads the kernel. And that starts with either Linux 16 or Linux EFI. I'm going to go to the very end of that line. I'm going to add an rd.break. I'm also going to tell it to not use SE Linux for enforcing. So I'll do enforcing. zero. So with the enforcing equals zero and the rd.break, I can press control X to boot the system. Now it's going to boot with those options and it won't boot the system fully. You can see right here that it dropped me straight to a prompt. The file system is mounted, but it's not mounted in a read-write fashion, so I have to remount it as read-write. So do mount minus O remount. Then I'm going to add a RW because I want it to be read-write and it's on sysroot. So reboot the sys, uh, remount the file system. And I'm going to use chroot to get into the file system. Once I'm in here, I can run commands normally. However, because SE Linux has been disabled, everything I touch is going to lose its SE Linux tags, and that will cause it to be unreadable once SE Linux is up and running. So I'll set the root password. And I type in the password. And hope it works. And the password has now been reset. In order to make everything work properly, when I boot back up, I want to have SE Linux relabeling everything. So I touch a, in the slash directory the auto relabel. So I create this empty file and then when the system reboots it will relabel all the files I touched. So I reboot. Boots up normally. It takes a little bit of time. At this point, I should be able to log into the system. If I forget to do the auto relabel or I spell the auto relabel file incorrectly, then it usually boots up in uh, in text mode. It would boot up, and you get a regular command prompt, and you'd not be able to log in. In GUI mode, it might not even start the GUI fully. You might just get a round circle that moves around, and you can't do anything. It just doesn't work. So this is how you reset your root password. And once it's set and it fully boots up, you should be able to log in.